This is another piece of the investigation into the company called the Hallelujah Scriptures, which I have nicknamed the Hallelujah Grifters because of the actions that they have taken over the last 13 years, which have been repulsive and very evil and vile and completely Torah commandment breaking people. Now, what they are just about to do is they're about just about to toss this little family out into the streets. Along with that, they have just sued them for around $3,000. This is the family that they coerced and they, they brought over into Arkansas and that they said that they would take care of them. They would help them to prep and have stuff for off-grid living. And as they shipped the Bibles, essentially five of them for, for slave labor, they were supposed to get housing and all of this. Well, once they figured out that the Hallelujah Scriptures was a fraudulent money laundering company that is laundering money using donations along with buying property and selling property, she got very angry. Deborah Weiss, who is the owner of Hallelujah Scriptures, got very angry <clears throat> and kicked them out. Now, this little family has nowhere to go. This little family is stuck here and I have... I had to rechange a lot of this because of YouTube policy, so I changed some of this. And this is the completely privacy redacted. Thank you, YouTube. Now, this is the case number 14CV-23-30-4. It is all public information. This is all in the court system, so you can pull all of this up. Now, this is the summons, the state of Arkansas to Trisha Louise Elliott. A lawsuit has been filed against you. The relief demanded is in the attached complaint within 30 days after the service of this summons on you, not counting the day you received it, or 60 days if you are incarcerated in any jail, penitentiary, or the correctional facility in Arkansas, you must file with the clerk of this court a written answer to this complaint or a motion under Rule 12 of the Arkansas Rules of Civil Procedure. Okay? So, there's that's, that's what they're doing. So, we have a little family stuck. They just got served this paperwork two days ago. This little family has been struggling extremely bad. All the while this has been happening, they've been having problems with one of their children that is, is very, very dire. Things are bad that are happening, are happening to this family. And the Hallelujah Scriptures is trying to cut their throats. And it is, it is very, very hard to see this and watch this. Now... This is what they're doing, and they have five days now. They literally have three days now or less to return a response, and she's out in the middle of a little place out in the middle of Arkansas with no place to go, and this family has animals, and they have other things that they are unable just to pick up and go. There's no place for them to go. So, guys, as I am explaining this, if you know anyone in Arkansas who can house a family of five for a little bit with animals and try to get them literally off the street. The Hallelujah Scriptures is trying to put them in the streets. This is, let's continue on. This is just for the record so everybody has this. Okay, page one. Okay. This thing's being like ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Okay, so page two looks like this, and it's there's nothing on it. This is what the um, sheriff would fill out. Um, but the sheriff basically left this part blank. And this is who it was and where it was. Um, blanked out again for privacy reasons whoever this is i can't read it i think it was glenn the first time i did it so that's the sheriff that's who served this family <clears throat> this is the date they got served three seven and it says it looked like 25 but it's actually 23 obviously so let's run to the next page and um really there's nothing else here on this so it's just the guy's signature tossing this out. And give this thing a second. Now this is the um this is um 
a tricky thing, this writ of possession. <clears throat> Let's read this. In the Circuit Court of Columbia County, Arkansas, Civil Division, Hallelujah Scriptures versus Teresa Louise Elliott and all occupants of um, their address, which is in Arkansas, which is the Hallelujah Scriptures, which got purchased with uh, stolen funds as well. Notice of intention to issue writ of possession. <clears throat> You are hereby notified that the attached complaint in the above styled cause claims that you have been guilty of unlawful detainer and seeks to have a writ of possession directing the sheriff to deliver possession of the lands, tenements, or other possessions described in the complaint delivered to the plaintiff. <clears throat> if within five days, excluding Sundays and legal holidays, from the date of service of this notice, you have not filed in the office of the clerk of the court a written objection <clears throat> excuse me, to the claims made against you by the plaintiff for possession of the property described in the complaint, <clears throat> then the plaintiff shall be entitled to a writ of possession that shall forthwith issue from this office directed to the sheriff of this county and ordering him or her to remove you from possession of the property described in the complaint and to place the, sh the, the plaintiff in possession thereof. If you should file with the clerk of the court a written objection to the complaint of the plaintiff and the allegations for immediate possession of the property described in the complaint within five days, excluding Sundays and legal holidays from the date of service of this notice, a hearing will be scheduled by the court to determine whether or not the writ of possession should issue as sought by the plaintiff. <clears throat> so essentially, she has until Monday, essentially Monday or Tuesday, based upon this, to figure out how to get from a little house out in the middle of Arkansas to some courthouse and get this filed a reply or else probably Tuesday or Wednesday after the court goes through this, they will send the sheriff out and they will put this family out into the streets in the middle of Arkansas. Don't know what in the world they're going to do from there. I have, I have absolutely no idea. And this family is completely traumatized at this point. Everything is going wrong for them. They, they got suckered into coming out here. They got this entire lie that they were spun, and now they are they're homeless. They're, they're, they're homeless, and they're, they're just about in the streets. <clears throat> just a tragedy story. All right, as this thing is loading up or attempting to load, let's continue on, and I just want to document this thoroughly. And that was a mouthful, guys, so sorry for the long reading of this. All right, now, here's the complaint. Let's read exactly what they're saying. <clears throat> Come now, Hallelujah Scriptures Incorporated, and for its cause of action against the defendant, Teresa Louise Elliott, and all occupants of 302 Columbia Road, number 220 Emerson, Arkansas, states as follows. The plaintiff is an entity with a principal place of business in the Commonwealth of Virginia. That defendants are individuals residing in Columbia County, Arkansas. That this action concerns the following property. Emerson, Arkansas, 71740, which is situated in Columbia County, Arkansas. That jurisdiction and venue are proper with this court. That defendant entered into possession of the property under an agreement signed by defendants on September 29, 2022. A copy of said agreement is attached hereto as Exhibit A, incorporated herein by reference. That under the terms of the agreement, defendants were provided by plaintiff housing at the subject property, which included plaintiff providing utilities, phone, and internet. Now, um, a, a couple things on this is that when they came to evict them, they kicked off all of their internet. They have no, they are unable to use any kind of internet. The only shot they have is they have to go off into the middle of the forest when one phone at some point gets a certain signal and they can get a certain SMS out. This little family has been crippled out in the middle of Arkansas by the Hallelujah Scriptures. And now they're being persecuted by the Hallelujah Scriptures. This is incredible. Okay, um, so anyway, they, don't have, they haven't had internet. They haven't had a way to actually do anything or try to secure their next step into life or anything of that sort. They've been on the run. Okay, um, and, and first right here, where it says... The plaintiff is an entity with its principal place of business in the Commonwealth of Virginia. That's a lie. They're incorporated in New Jersey. So none of that is true at all. Um, let's continue on with this persecution of the Elliots. <clears throat> um, the services as part considered for contract labor the defendant were to perform on behalf of the plaintiff. Okay, so... Um, Sorry, this program just is a piece of junk. Okay, internet services. So right there under six is talking about 
Plaintiff providing utilities, phone, and internet services as part consideration for contract labor for defendant were to perform on behalf of plaintiff. Yeah, so anyway, they, they, they hadn't they cut off all their, their access to any of that. That per the terms of agreement, it could be terminated by plaintiff by providing a written notice to defendants of the termination at least one month before the effective date. Defendants were provided a termination letter dated January 19th, 2023. That per the terms of this of the agreement, defendants were to vacate the subject property no later than 14 days from the receipt of the termination letter. That defendants failed and refuted to vacate the subject property. <clears throat> they have no way to exit the property. She doesn't have a license. She doesn't have insurance. They do not have any cash whatsoever, right? The GoFundMe has roughly $6,000. Half of that went to the Parks family and half of that went to her. As she's been trying to help her, one of her children, a lot of that has been spent trying to get back and forth, trying to save her kids as she's stuck in this mess. It is a complete nightmare. Okay, let's continue on. <clears throat> 10. That due to defendant's refusal to vacate on February 5th, 2023, plaintiff provided defendant with three days notice to vacate the property. A copy of said notice is attached here as Exhibit B. Also see the exhibit in support of complaint and unlawful detainer filed with it with this complaint. And they had a real estate agent come out and send him a letter telling him they had to get out in three days. That was it. They did nothing with the courts is what they're talking about with number 10. <clears throat> 11. That defendants failed and refused to vacate and quit possession of the property after receiving the three-day notice. They had nowhere to go. And the Hallelujah Scriptures owes them for four weeks of service. They were supposed to get three fifty dollars a week. They canned them and then they left them for dead, never paid them another cent. And now, here coming up, they're about to try to sue them for $3,000 of illegitimate funds. Incredible. Twelve. That plaintiff is entitled to immediate possession of the property and damages for utility bills that have continued to accrue after defendants were no longer entitled to possession of the subject property. Bull butter. The cost of said utilities are currently $2,759. Okay, <clears throat> this is a complete lie. We have on record one of the conversations where in December the power bill was $500. So right now they've accrued a total of a $2,759 that they all it, they shipped Bibles all through winter. They had to heat the warehouse, right? This is the cost of running a business. And now the Hallelujah Scriptures has the audacity to try to hang this on the Elliots, <laughs> their entire power bill. They made all of this money off their Bible grifting business, and then they tried to hang the Elliots. This is really another level, honestly. <clears throat> Plaintiff is also entitled to reimbursement for any damages for any destruction that may have been caused to the property by defendants and their court costs and reasonable attorney's fees. Now, this little family, when these hallelujah scriptures brought in the people that were on drugs, alcohol, and um, violencing, you know, with weapons, they had weapons. They, they came and they, they terrorized this little family for a week. Um, they left this place in ranshackles. They ran off with like four containers of Bibles. They ransacked this entire place, left the place just trashed. There's pictures of all of it. And then they're like, yeah, you know, if there's any damages, we, we got we to put it on the Elliots, right? We got to make sure we, we really, really, you know, damage these people. This is just nuts. <clears throat> Plaintiff is also entitled to reimbursement for any damages, destruction, right? And then they want um, <laughs> um, for any destruction made in the cause of the property by defendants and for their court costs and reasonable attorney's fees. Again, now they want to rip this family off for what? $5,000 in attorney's fees? This is crazy. So what, what $8,000? If you want to be a Hallelujah Scriptures Postal Agent, get ready to be sued for $8,000. <clears throat> Wherefore, plaintiff requests the entity entry of a writ of possession allowing for the immediate possession of property by plaintiff. For judgment against the defendants are as set out above. For the cost of this action, a reasonable attorney's fees, and for any and all other relief to which plaintiff is entitled. Right. All of this, yeah. They, they need all this money. How is it if defrauding the world isn't enough money? Um, and this is... Um, this is the guy, the attorney guy, respectfully submitted how your scriptures incorporated. Now, there's 20 pages to this. And um, this is um, 
this is the agreement, the original agreement, and I've done videos on this, so I'm not going to do it before. Again, I'm not going to go through this part. Um, we're going to zip through it, and if you guys want to slow it down, you can definitely read this stuff. But essentially, <clears throat> what it says, and it is really sick because there's 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 a cult style stuff, right? The cult style stuff, and the the um, I don't know. It, it's it, it is a cult. It's, it's without a doubt a cult. Something like this, right? Where it says, "Whereas Party One is a nonprofit, restored name Bible Ministry, which sends out Bibles and other religious materials to various people in genuine need around the world. Party One seeks honest, committed, and dedicated believers with a humble heart to serve Yahuwah in providing services to its own fulfillment center in Arkansas." Can you imagine that, right? <clears throat> this is a for-profit company that the owners of this company spend ten to fifteen thousand dollars per month out of donation funds funding their own exorbitant extravagant lifestyle in New Zealand and they are um, <laughs> this is this is what they do because they have no labor the people are really free they're these people are serving our creator because they they love our creator and so these people are, are enslaving the people of our creator which is sick all right, now let us continue on with this, and um, just so you guys can see it. And again, slow it down and, and read through it if you want to see through this. I did have to get a better copy of this, which is now readable. And so, <clears throat> this is what they're supposed to get. The the Elliots, party one shall pay party to a sum of three hundred fifty dollars per week. Okay, guys, that's for five employees per week plus food allowance per verbal agreement and complete homeschooling costs for all services mentioned in this contract, which shall be paid either weekly or monthly as preferred by Party 2. As an additional benefit, Party 1 shall also shoulder the following costs related to the rendering, the fulfillment center, and not for personal reasons. Right? They're supposed to take care of all the utilities, right? the power, gas, and water, which now they're trying to hang the power on top of the Elliott family. Right? They're trying to take them for $3,000 because of this. Um, the internet is, uh, it was in another person's name. They couldn't get out of the name because they had, again, ripped off another ex-postal agent. Now, <clears throat> let's continue on right here. This is, um, this is, again, part of the cult to serve as a faithful caretaker and diligent provider of the fulfillment center and warehouse owned by Party One. You know, um... You know, it's it's located in Arkansas in the knowledge that this service is for the Father, Yahuwah, and not any earthly person. You know, except for the two people that are completely ripping our Creator off. They're taking ten to $15,000 a month from organics, prostitutes. There's literally prostitutes in the business statements. It is insane. So, we got to be very, very careful about this, right? So, I'm going to leave this very short, and I need to let people know that this family is just about to be homeless. And when this family is homeless, I don't know. I, the, we've lost the ability to help them out. And these people went and they served for our creator. They went and they did everything possible that they could to ship Bibles out, thousands and thousands of them. And they did it with a, like a 0.25% error rate, I think is what Trish said. There's like one out of 400, one error out of 400 items shipped. And those 400 items could have been all sorts of stuff. So the error rate was like minimal. There's nothing there. And so this family did an amazing work for our creator and shipped out Bibles for a very long time. And right now they are in dire straits. They are in... A very very bad place and so again if there's somebody in Arkansas who knows a place that we can shelter this family or get to them or you guys have a place that this family can can uh, go you know again they, they I think they have dogs and they have cats there's five of them um, it, it's a fairly large family you know they they gave up what they had and they they went and to serve our creator <clears throat> now here's Robert Lou Griffith Right, and um, just for privacy reasons on YouTube, we pulled out this signature. We have this other video other places, and you can see all of this stuff in, in full full pictures. But this is the family, and this is the family that got snuckered into working for the Hallelujah Scriptures. And two of the, the kiddos here 
are twins. And they were 14 years old when the Hallelujah Scriptures had them sign this contract. Now, how the con Hallelujah Scriptures gets away with tax fraud <clears throat> is instead of actually having people they call employees and they, they treat them like employees, they get these people and contract labor people, they, it, they're treated a whole different way. But the thing about contract labor is you're supposed to have your own tools. You have to have your own supply. Technically, they can't be contract laborers living in a house and have everything supplied to them by the Hallelujah Scriptures. That does not make a con that makes a, a laborer. They needed to pay them as a, an employee and pay taxes and do all of that. They, they that's fraud. There's fraud right there just in that alone. So again, this is the family that got bamboozled into this whole thing. That um, for those who have donated. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys have literally saved the day and, and saved this family. If you guys could even know the drama that's going on with this little family, you guys would be thankful that, that, you, that people donated. They're, they're, worth, they're worth fighting for, guys. I mean, it, it, is, it is worth the fight. And so... I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm bringing this to you guys. And um, these are the people that um, wrote the contract. And um, this is the, the thing, too, is, is Max Allen's not even a real name. It, it's, it's usually Ken Weiss. It's, and Allen is an, a, like a, another name of another husband that Deborah Weiss had. And Shlom White isn't a real person. Deborah Weiss is, or Wessel, one of the two. Um, Gary Johnson, he's a, he's a mystery dude. Um, but then you have, uh, you have this son. These are the, uh, two p slaves they have over in the Philippines. They own two people that literally, they bought the houses over there and they pay them $1,500 a month. And that's huge money in Philippine land style. And so she treats them real good and they do all the orders. They fill all the stuff. Deborah Wessel Weiss doesn't do anything with the Holy Scripture. She travels around, stashes money, stashes food in a little safe house in New Zealand and is on the run all the time, thinking that the world is always ending and she, she's going to be the only one that's able to save herself up in the, the little two-house place that she has. Now, this is a three-day notice to vacate. This was an earlier one that they gave that the, um, it, was, it was delivered by the real estate guy. And so it doesn't really mean anything because they're still under contract. And until the Hallelujah Scriptures fulfills their part of their contract, which was $350 a week until the contract was out, they fired them halfway in the middle of it, did not pay them for the rest of the contract, even though they said they would. So they're due at least $2,000 by the Hallelujah Scriptures just to legally end this contract, right? You can't just like fire the people and not pay them, especially when you have a, a, a invalid contract like this. This is crazy. <laughs> Everything about the Hallelujah Scriptures is completely fraudulent. It is a, it is a bad place. Okay, um... This is yet more uh, in lawful and detainer. All right. The undersigned, having been duly sworn, hereby states an oath, I am an officer of Hallelujah Scriptures. There, here's Gregory Lebo Murray. And we also have his girlfriend, Danny, Danette. And um, they are on the payroll. They take money out of the Hallelujah Scriptures accounts. And so they are part of the system. And so this is them here in the U.S. attacking these people on behalf of the Hallelujah Scriptures. This affidavit is given in support of a complaint and an unlawful detainer. The following statements are based upon information known to me at the time of the giving of this affidavit. The defendants are in possession of the property, property subject located at, at there, Arkansas 71740, per an agreement entered in be, into land between plaintiff and defendants. The defendants have failed or refused to fulfill the terms of the party's agreement. Per the terms of the agreement, plaintiff is entitled to give notice to the defendants and then regain possession of the subject property. And the, the Elliots did nothing wrong. They were shipping and doing a fabulous job. So it was only because they they found out and stuck in and found out that they are money laundering and, and got to the core of the system. That is why they got owned like they did. Four. Um, let's see if there's anything there. Okay, four. A three-day notice to vacate the property. So this is the same thing they're already saying. The defendant remains in possession of the subject property. They have paid no rents and not entitled to remain in possession. Nor have they been paid again because they, the family, you know, they, they were fired and literally left with zero cash. And had it not been for the angels that have been helping these people, then it would be, um, it would just be, 
they'd, they'd be gone. I mean, I don't know. They would just totally be gone. Gregory Murray, Vice President, Hallelujah Scriptures. And um, you got the president who is Gregory, um, who is Robert Lou Griffith. And, um, you know, this is this is very disheartening, bringing this stuff up to you guys and, and, and begging and pleading for the people of our Creator. It is, it is just incredible. Now, the last thing I want to leave us with <clears throat> is this. This is the Messianic Hall of Shame.org, and it has now been fully updated. And this is where you can find all of the evidence at the very top. Everything that I've been talking about for the last five months is there. You will see it all, and you will have over 119 evidentiary videos in this. And I believe I have put it together very, very well that people can follow. If you need any kind of information, please always email me. My email is at everywhere. You guys can find it. This is an old picture of the, the people who are who were involved in this and who've been perpetrating the scam for 13 years. This is them as about uh, two or three years ago. And so, and this one is, is very recent of Ken. And so these are the people behind this. They're the donation fraud. This is Robert Lou Griffith. This is he's he's allowing all of this to happen. He's he's part of it, he's orchestrating it with with Deborah Weiss and Shalom, who aka Shalom, these are the people who are on the payroll. They have had their credit cards paid. Danit Allen Brano is the girlfriend of Gregory Lebo Murray, and <clears throat> they had their credit cards paid. And there is, I still have yet another video I got to do that I will link the December of of this year's um, all of their bank accounts and show that they are paying themselves and their credit cards off. So it's not like they're sitting here doing this for absolutely nothing. They are part of it. And so this is where I have put everything. And um, as of March 9th, there is still no repentance. The, the Hallelujah Scriptures continues on and continues to lie and continues to try to get my sites and my YouTube channels and everything just completely bombarded and attacked. And it is, it is crazy. And so if you guys can help this family, this family really needs your help. I know I've been saying this a lot, and you know I never, ever do say this. There's no way that I, I don't shill for anybody. I don't ask for donations. We don't have any kind of a ministry. We are a family in the middle of a jungle, and I can't even get to it. We're a family in the middle of a jungle that is begging for the help of this little family that has been attacked by people like him. And if you have seen the videos, you will see that he attacked this family on a Shabbat, and we have to look at this very closely and as this family is getting thrown to the bus and is getting tossed out please if you can help them i would really appreciate it i know y'all would appreciate it thank you guys for listening to this please share this with everyone else get the word out much love to everybody out there i'm out